Welcome to day 26 of my 100 days of Wafla journey. Today's video is gonna blow your mind. Trust me, it's gonna be super cool. We're gonna create this GSAP scroll trigger animation, the one that you see on the screen here. We're gonna use Slater app, which is a coding environment that is now currently available on the Webflow app marketplace. We're gonna install it, connect it to our project and use it to write this GSAP code. The best part is that we're gonna use Slater AI to write the code for us. So I'm not gonna write the code. The Slater AI will write the code for us. Yes, it's gonna write the code for us. It's gonna write the animation, the GSAP animation all together. The even better part is that we're not going to leave the Webflow environment. We'll just do all this inside of the Webflow project. Since all of this is connected now, thanks to Webflow apps, everything's going to be done right there on the same tab. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey because there are a lot of cool stuff coming on the way. Let's go. All right, so let's do this. First thing you go on Webflow apps. You scroll down to Slater, you add Slater to your site. Now I've already done this, but I'm just showing you the steps. So my project is day 26. I authorize app and then you go to Slater. It's going to prompt you to create an account, to create a team. So you do that, set it up and then you go to your project. So this is my project, refresh the page and then go on the apps panel and then you'll find Slater here we'll launch Slater. Now Slater is a code environment inside Webflow. This is really useful if you want to write code, test stuff out. Uh, if you're used to Code Sandbox or you know GitHub or all those methods, this is much easier because it's right there within your Webflow environment. All you have to do is copy this code. So you go on code, you go on this icon here, you copy this code, and then you paste it and before closing body tag. So now it's connected to my Slater app. So this is the page. I only have one page. So this is what I want to animate. Now what I want to do is basically use a GSAP animation to animate this element here, which is called image wrap. And I want image wrap to take the full size of the screen. Now what I have here is a section long, which is 400 view height. So when I scroll through section long, I want image wrap to get bigger. Uh, I have this sticky full element, which is the parent of image wrap. So section long inside it, there is sticky full, which is a sticky element of 100 view height, and it's sticky zero from the top. And then image wrap is 50 m height, 50 m width. So Let's go to Slater AI and prompt this. Now I've already tested this out. So spoiler alert, this works. So yeah, so I have a, a prompt here. So give me a GSAP scroll animation code to make element with class image wrap, which is this one. Grow bigger as I scroll through section long, which is the 400 view height section, starting from 50 m width and height and ending at 100 view width and 100 view height. The animation to start when section long is at top top and ends when at bottom bottom. So let's prompt and see what it's gonna give us. So sometimes it bugs out. It doesn't give you the full thing, but we will see. So yeah, it didn't give me the, it didn't call the trigger, scroll trigger call the scroll trigger plugin. Let's see here. All right, now it's good. So it explains to you what's going on. Uh, now this is an HTML format. I, I just need to copy this part, paste this part here. Let's check it. Now it's telling it image wrap to go to 100 view height, 100 view width. And then the trigger is section long, which is correct. Top, top. Uh, there is a scrub. I want the scrub perhaps to be one. And uh, I don't want a scale. And maybe we remove this start thing. I just want a duration. And let's just, let's use this. Also, I'll need to call the GSAP library. 
So I will just copy this part, which is calling the GSAP library and the scroll trigger and paste it in the same place before the closing of body tag. And this is just to have GSAP working. And now let's test this out. Let's see if this works. Uh, you'll, you need to save to dev now. It automatically saves, but you need to save to dev and save to production as well if you're using custom domain. But in my case, I just need to save to development uh, because I'm using the staging domain. And now I publish, I go on my site, let's hope this works and this works perfectly. This looks super nice, super smooth. Uh, let's say I want to adjust now, say I want to make the width even bigger because uh, I want to lose these rounded corners. So save to dev, publish again. And it's that easy to make changes to your code within Slater app. So now it's getting even bigger. So I'm losing those corners. Uh, super cool. This is very cool. You can animate more things. Like let's say I want to animate this text as well, make it bigger. So you go on the AI, you just tell it, I want to animate, uh, what's this called? So this is heading size large. Uh, I want to animate using JSAP, GSAP. I want to animate heading size large to scale to 1.5 as I scroll through uh, section Blanco. Section Blanco. So this is this section, basically. So as I scroll through this section, this will scale to 1.5. Let's see what Slater gives us. Now, I don't need to call the library again. It's already installed. And uh, yeah, so let's see, copying this, pasting it here. I don't need to call the plugin again because it's already there. I'll save to dev and then I will publish. Very cool stuff, very cool stuff. What a time to be alive. All right, so now it's scaling. It's already scaled. Let's see what's wrong. So maybe top, top here, bottom, bottom. And uh, now this fixes it because here you see like it's just scaled because the, the start and the end was not set properly. But let's see if this works now. So now it's small and as I scroll, it's getting bigger and maybe we'll give it a duration. So duration of one and maybe a scrub of one as well. Let's delete this, publish, save, publish, save, save, publish. And now it's, it's you know, it's smoother. And then this is getting bigger, super cool. So yeah, so Slater AI is something really, really, really cool. Uh, I'm very happy that, you know, this came along, this came my way. Now I can create amazing things right within the Webflow environment. And um, thank you, Edgar Allen, for making this uh, tool for us. Very, very useful. I am very much deeply in love with this. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I taught you something today. This took us what, like less than 10 minutes and we created this cool animation. So now thanks to Slater AI, we can create cool stuff, super easy, super fast. Stay tuned on this 100 days of Wafla journey. A lot of cool stuff are on the way. So don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you can see the videos that are being posted and see you tomorrow.